Welcome back to the Eagle News. I'm Maggie. And I'm Prudence. Let's go to our first segment. Miss Roundtree. Welcome to another episode of Reading with Roundtree. I have two very special guests with me today, TJ and Brooklyn from Miss Turner's classroom. And we have some academic vocabulary today. TJ, what do you have for us today? Okay, so my my words are denominator and numerator. And a denominator is the bottom number of a fraction. Because I remember it because D kind of sounds like the down. So it's the bottom number. And the numerator is the top number of a fraction. Awesome. That was a great way to describe that. I always forget which one's which, so I'll remember that. Brooklyn's word is metaphor, and a metaphor states that one thing is another thing. For example, Brooklyn, give us your example, please. His heart is made of gold. His heart is made of gold. Now, could somebody's heart really be made of gold? No, no. That's a metaphor, and it means that he's such a kind person that it's, his heart is made of gold, but not really. So look up those words today, use them in your classrooms, use them with your friends, use them in your reading and writing, and have a great week, and we'll see you next time with Reading with Roundtree. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Miss Roundtree. Yeah, that was really good. It's pretty cool. Let's go to Miss Cisco to Attention, attention, all fourth graders. So we've been listening to the book Wonder in the library and we're going to move that to an optional audio book time. Um, so this is going to be available for students who would like to come and pick up where we left off in part two with Via. And you can come to the library on Thursday mornings from 7.30 to 8 o'clock to listen to the audio book of wonder. This is a first come first serve. Um, so if you come to eat breakfast, um, you'll eat breakfast first and then get a pass um, from someone in the lunchroom and same for the gym. Um, when you come in, you'll get a pass from them and meet in the library at 7.30 to continue listening to the book of wonder. So for those of you who have enjoyed the audiobooks in fifth grade, I'm going to be offering the book Hatchet, which is one of my all-time favorite books, available for you to come listen to the audiobook of Hatchet on Wednesdays from 7.30 to 8 o'clock. And for my third graders, attention third graders, attention, attention, if you would like to come try out an audiobook, I will have audiobook of Wish Tree available on Fridays from 7.30 to 8 o'clock. So um, your teachers can give you some more details about where to get the pass from um, in your classroom. I'll be um, relaying that information to them um, this week and next week to prepare you for listening to the audio books for your grade level. I hope you'll be able to join us in the mornings um, according to your grade level. Have a great day. That's the sound. That was really cool. Let's go to Pull the Playground with Black History Month. Hello, I'm Aubrey and I'm here with Theo, Alana, Ari. And who is your favorite black American hero? <laughs> Rocco Papa, Ruby Bridges, Rosa Parks. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with Miss Kramer. And who is your favorite African American person from history? Um, I'm going to say Condoleezza Rice. And she was the first African American Secretary of State and the first woman to serve as the National Security Advisor. Good job. <laughs> Hello, and I'm here with Sandra Healy. And who is your favorite African American? Trinity! Ruby Bridges. Rocky. Thank you. Whoa! Hello, and I'm here with Marcus. And he is in Miss Urban's fourth grade jersey. And Marcus, who is your favorite African American from history? Louis Armstrong. Because? He scared scary about Yep, that was so good. <laughs> now let's get to the weather for this weekend. 
<coughs> Welcome back, Eagles, to your weather report. I'm yours truly, Joshua, and guess what? It's nothing fun. This weekend, it'll rain again. Can you believe it? Man, again? Man, I was really looking forward to going outside this time. Anyways, back to you in the studio. Wow, we switched spots. Magic. Now let's go over some pageant pictures. Yes, I think I did pretty good, but I messed up once. It's okay. I mean, it got you the win, right? Well, I guess that's all for we have for you uh, with the pageant girls. See you guys next week. And week. don't forget, be responsible, be safe, be respectful, and be an eagle. Fly as one! <laughs>